Hey guys, so I just got home from my trip to IMATS for the year and I had a really great time. I ran into a lot of fellow YouTubers and it was really exciting meeting all the people that I watch and admire here on YouTube. That was just a really exciting experience for me. But I did pick up quite a few makeup items and I thought I would share them with you in this haul today. As soon as I walked in the door, I ran into Caroline and Ash and Poppy, all of whom I watch here on YouTube. I will link them down below. And the first stop we made was the Mac counter. Now, Mac Pro was there, and it was hectic. They'd only been open for about an hour and a half, and it was absolute madness. But I did manage to get some things that were on my wish list that they hadn't sold out of yet. The first thing that I absolutely had to get was a 15 pen eyeshadow palette and that is what I got. It comes in two pieces because MAC has redone their palette system so now there's a universal empty palette and then you buy inserts depending on what you want to put in the palette. So I got the palette and then the 15 eyeshadow pan insert. Then to go inside of that I got Club Eyeshadow which is a really cool duochrome brown green kind of burgundy color that I've been looking at for a really long time and this was the only one of the eyeshadows on my list that they had in stock but that's okay because I'm really excited to use this. The last thing I got from MAC was their eyebrow crayon in brunette. So pretty straightforward, it's just a twist up eyebrow pencil. Uh, my eyebrow pencil is running out, I've heard good things about these so I got it. Then I went over to a company that I think is called Bedellium or Bedellium or Bedellium, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce the name, but I got two brushes from them. The first one I got is the Eyes 780. This is just a little pencil brush. Um, I don't have a pencil brush, I thought this would be nice to have, and it was only $7, so easy. Then I got the 785 Tapered Blending Brush, because you can never have enough tapered blending brushes. And both of these brushes are from the new Pink bamboo range that they have um, which means they're both 100% vegan and everything from that pink line is 100% vegan which is always good. And then the last booth that I picked things up from was Inglot. Inglot was almost as busy as MAC was though I think they had a slightly better system for selling their products. I went to Inglot to get some blushes because I've only ever heard good things about their blushes so I got the Freedom System 4 blush palette uh, which I'm going to fill up with beautiful blushes. I also got two blush inserts to go inside of that. I got the Freedom System blush in color 29, which is a really nice apricot peach kind of color. And then I got this one from called the AMC blush. I don't know what AMC stands for, but they were separate from the Freedom System blushes. And this is in shade 70. It's a very bright coral pink kind of color, and I quite like this one as well. Inglot was also really nice in that they gave everyone who made a purchase a 20% off coupon for their website. I thought that was quite a nice thing to add if you bought from them. So there you go, those are the things that I picked up at iMatch this year. I didn't get a whole lot, but I had a really good time and hopefully I'll go back next year and get even more products. But I'm really excited about the products I did get and I will let you know how I like them as I start using them. Let me know down below if you went to iMats and what products you picked up while you were there or if you couldn't make it this year let me know if you're going to be coming next year and then maybe we can run into each other. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, bye!